Coming up in this week's episode, we sail to the Bahamas for McDonald's. The re main reason why we're going there is to treat ourselves and have a McDonald's. <laughs> it's been so long. We have some fantastic sailing conditions. You couldn't ask for a better day, really. Conditions are absolutely perfect for sailing. And we take a look around NASA. We're on the scooters on the open road. Good morning everyone. This is what our location looks like in the daylight. Uh, we were expecting the sandy beach, but it's not very sandy, it looks rocky. Had a comfortable night here. Really quite comfortable really, to be honest. Looks nice. Later we're gonna try and get on the beach. And there's a road or something down there, so we're gonna have a look. Still can't identify what this bottom is. I think it's sandy rock or sand over the a thin bit of sand over rock. But we haven't dragged or anything. It's been quite a comfortable night, to be honest. Uh, plan is to stay here today. And then tomorrow we got a good sail, 20 to 25 knots over to NASA, 48 miles. Wow, it's going to be exciting, that is. Really looking forward to that. At 5.30, I don't think I'd be that happy because... <laughs> You've got food and tea all down your t-shirt. Thanks. <laughs> I don't think Adam's that early because he wanted to wake up about 6.30 and I've woken him up at 5.30. I thought it was 6.30, yeah. not 5.30. Yeah. So it's getting up and it's pitch black and the moon is still very high. Yeah. So he's got another six hours of darkness to wait. No, we haven't. <laughs> I thought, because we've got 50 miles to do today, and it'll be lovely to get there before tea. <laughs> so, yeah. get up and leave first light. Or we could just leave whenever, really. It doesn't matter if it's dark, really. Light is just coming up. Beginning of a new day. It looks kind of nice. Looks lovely. Got the full main up at the moment, doing 2.2 knots, good already. Off we go. We are full set of sails at the moment, but it's gonna become a time, because it's 18 to 25 forecast today, northeasterlies, and we need to go south. And where we'll have to reef the main more than likely and uh, start reefing the sails down but just getting out of the lee of this island and we shall be free to transverse this thing this uh, channel they call it a channel but it's actually 3300 meters deep which is absolutely insane really think about it incredible So today is the 7th of December, it's currently 10 to 7 in the morning. So today is the 7th of December, it's currently 10 to 7 in the morning. Just left our bay in La Odo Bay, something like that. We're making a long passage, not that long, all over to the capital of the Bahamas, Nassau, here. Passage around 45 and then we're going 46, 47 miles. Hoping to get there before tea today. The wind today is 
northeasterly and then go east northeast around 20 to 25 knots so it should be absolutely flying this is the overall picture where we are the bahamas we're on our way to nassau as you all know it's the capital of the bahamas the capital of the bahamian people and there the re main reason why we're going there is to treat ourselves and have a mcdonald's <laughs> it's been so long now we've got other things to do there as well to bits and pieces and we want to go for a run around the city and show you around yes we're already already going nice we're already going we're already going well i should say doing 5.2 knots we've got a 10 to 13 knots we thought it'd be a bit more of an angle above 120 on that dial it's not at the moment we've got 1.8 meters well on the side and that's what's going to be like all day so it should be okay we're hoping to get six knots six to six and a half knots we're hoping we will do it's still very early in the morning the wind picks up strengthens throughout the day and comes a bit east northeast so it'll be a lot more beanie throughout the day and we'll be putting a reef in the main and further in the jenny and we'll be doing about six and a half knots later that's my prediction so just looking at the charts that's where we need to head yeah only 38 miles to go it's mad and we're heading way too far over so drop the Genoa at the end of the uh, pole there and bring it in on the starboard side while Luke's taking the Genoa off the pole and making some brunch not breakfast not quite lunch it's uh, like spaghetti bolognese in a tin and I got my coffee so I'm a happy chappy we can get better speed this way as well Looks multitasking. I oh, know it's hard. Put this rubber on there. He's letting the furler line, controlling the furler line, and then controlling the sheet on the Genoa. So it doesn't get too much Genoa out while keeping the tension on the sheet. Doing a good job. Anyway. Eat this. I ain't eating. As the sardines. Yep. Master. I'm crazy. Absolutely flying on this new. Absolutely flying on this new course. This is how to power clean your pan when at sea. <laughs> Better than any dishwasher. Ta-da! Making us a whistle. Whistle! Yeah, back in the pan cupboard. Currently, we're doing. Well, I'll show you. Getting windy, look. Yeah. Oh, I think we're allowed to spread a reef in that main soon. Yeah. Conditions are beautiful, absolutely splendid.
we have approximately 26 miles left to go. So about five knots, we should be there around 3.30 this afternoon, just in time for tea. Now the winds ease a little bit, we're getting 20 knots, has dropped down to about 10, but it should pick up this afternoon. Going along nicely, not too much shipping around, and uh, you couldn't ask for a better day really. Conditions are absolutely perfect for sailing. Sunny, warm, the sea is amazingly blue. And um, we're traveling along just nicely. Believe it or not, the wind has actually eased. Water forecast for today. It's not too bad at the moment, we're just doing four knots. So I've got the rest of the Genoa out. And the full main. So we've got full, full set of sails. I have been made aware that my t-shirt is very dirty. <laughs> but I'm sailing at the moment, so I'm gonna keep it like this for now and I'll change my t-shirt tomorrow more than likely. <laughs> Like there's more wind coming this looks a lot of white white horses over there we're still doing well still doing well me and adam were just discussing whether we also get when we if we ever get into the sailing vessel we're gonna call it either cheese or block of cheese so when we go into places we'll be like this is sailing vessel block of cheese or sailing vessel cheese <laughs> we ask, we ask, request permission to enter please <laughs> Very pigeon. What's your macaroni cheese like? Horrible. <laughs> Why? It wasn't enough water put in there and it boiled to all like a bit goo. Oh, nice isn't it? Getting closer, eight miles to the entrance. like I'm going to a different country. Weird. Just directly over there we gotta go in kind of thing. Should be there in about an hour and a half-ish. Going fast now though. NASA Harbour Control, NASA Harbour Control, this is Sailing Vessel Atlas, Sailing Vessel Atlas. Good afternoon, Harbour Control 09. 09. 09. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, NASA Harbour Control, this is Atlas on 09. We are a sailing vessel approximately three nautical miles to the north of the west channel to Nassau Harbour. We are going to be heading to the Harbour Central Marina Anchorage. Permission granted, proceed with caution. Have a good afternoon. Back to one six. Much appreciated. Thanks very much. Uh, back to one six. Just got around this green. Boy. Boy. In. Boy. A buoy. Buoy. 34 meters. In over there. Looking forward to getting into the calm channel. Depth is coming down. Yep. So what we're going to do, we're going to round this buoy and go up the channel and I think we're going to get a little slither of Genoa out, did not we? Try and sail it if we're allowed. I, think... I don't know if we are though. It's, pretty, it's, it's a huge channel. That is a massive buoy. Yeah, don't hit that, do you? I'm pretty sure you can sail up the channel. Yeah, well I would think so. Yeah. Oh, it's massive, isn't it? Really yeah. rusty as well. Rusty old thing. Heavy. 
Making a turn. Making a turn. They say this entrance can be very dangerous in strong winds, and they have uh, a traffic light system here, green for yeah. good, to allow you to go in, and red lights to say no, you can't go in. I'm assuming it's that tower there. But there's nothing here to say that. If you imagine you get a northeasterly gale, it's going to be pretty, pretty bad getting here. No, I'm not centre line now. See the floor, sand. Yeah. Really nice. Right, I'm going to get a little bit of Jenny outlook, I think, and sail up there, isn't it? Just a little bit, so they, don't, they, they, they won't notice, you know? They're not going to notice that, are they? Impressive ferries here, absolutely gigantic. And this is Paradise Island. This is just like a floating hotel mind-bogglingly big. There's loads of boats in the anchorage. Yeah. Absolutely gigantic this. Wow. any good. There's not much room to be honest to anchor which is a bit of a shame. Uh, the wind is blowing one way and the current's taking us another way. I'll keep an eye on the situation I think. See how we get on. Really you want to fall back into the gap here. That would be perfect. This is where we anchored in Atlas. As you can see, we're right out in the middle away from any other boats. And what you are looking at right now is downtown Nassau, the capital of the Bahamas. These are the two bridges that connect downtown Nassau to Paradise Island. This is Paradise Island. It is a very exclusive place for tourists to stay in very expensive hotels. They have a range of facilities including a golf course, an aqua park, a dolphin center and private beaches. The most expensive hotel room is $25,000 a night with a minimum of four nights stay. Let's go and take a look around on foot. We're on the scooters, on the open road. Hope we don't get run over. <laughs> I 
just scooted on around this city um, and we come across to sort of like an industrial area and there's like a little um, well like a one market store seems pretty decent the people are really friendly really nice aren't they yeah everything's everyone's really friendly uh, it's a bit run down I suppose because all the hurricanes and covid destroyed all the tourism and things people are getting on with their lives and yeah it's a lot it's a lot more shops built up here than there was on the other island we were on that was pretty devastating a bit more of a community here i think Doesn't seem to be much rules with junctions here. They just seem to pull out and try and get out as best they can. <laughs> Crazy, people walking across the road. <laughs> In a local supermarket, and just seen something. Delicious, extra large snails, how much? $45, bargain. This morning we had the idea of painting our table. We're going to varnish it, but I said, well, Luke said, oh, let's put lacquer on there, not lots of lacquer, because it's minging and, it, and all the cracks it gets food, so this is a result. i got to say, it looks absolutely terrible. horrendous. It's awful. It's bad, isn't it? Yeah. All so. food was gathering in the cracks here. Mm. You know, we put a load of... Oh, the lacquer stinks so strong. It looks quite looks looks quite nice on camera, but is it? yeah, it's we'll sad. So it looks like when it dries, it looks absolutely horrendous. Yeah, the lacquer's terrible. It is this lacquer. Don't like it yes. at all. Yeah. Basically, <laughs> <laughs> oh basically we ruined the table. We ruined the table. Oh, and uh, last night we came outside just to check on things and the scooters that were in the dinghy were fully submerged in the water and they were hanging on for dear life on our painter. How they managed to catch on the painter without sinking to the bottom is anyone's guess. So I got them back on board and I've sprayed them all with WD-40. Hopefully they'll be all right. It's Saturday here and the amount of traffic going past is insane. They don't slow Folks, down. Back and forth, back and forth. And they're flying by and all the boats in the Anchorage are rocking. Yeah. Not many left in the Anchorage now. There's a Canadian boat there. And there's a, quite a few American boats. Welcome to McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> Let's speak a bit louder. <laughs> we sailed all the way from <clears throat> Bermuda. Bermuda to Bahamas for basically McDonald's in Nassau. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. 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 We just like McDonald's. We've been running today 8.2 miles. Yeah. Run over the bridges, didn't we? Yeah. And, good. Um, good run. So we treat ourselves at McDonald's. And we really should be eating local food. Yeah. But we can with this good old McAdee's. McAdee's. It's a treat, don't really have it very often, so it's a treat, isn't it? Yeah. You can't bear to spend the money on McDonald's. So we'd rather just eat, 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 eat on the boat. Hmm? Can't yes, bear to spend the money on McDonald's? We've got McDonald's, though. So. Yeah, it's very rare. Oh, man, yeah, it's just twice in two, two, three days. Your ears are full of wax. <laughs> Look at it out. Just polishing the hull. Nurse shark. And there's a nurse shark right underneath the oh. boat. Discovered the secret paradise, paradise bowl. bowl. If you've enjoyed this episode, please give us a like, share, and subscribe for more delicious content. A massive shout out to our amazing patrons. Thank you for keeping this dream alive. <laughs>